Yeah, man. Yeah, my noggin, we got bodies. Hey, the whole time we digging on Calais Loops, we digging on the artifacts, Aqua Tide Battle. She done done it again. Oh, man. Aqua Tide. Hey, this just in. <laughs> Aqua Tide Battle has done it again. Bodies. Hey, this is a body bag for the illusion. This is a body bag for the illusion. The whole time we're digging on Kalelus, we're digging on swords, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, we're digging on swords, these different inscriptions. We got Hebrew on these, you know, inscriptions describing a very important battle going down in the American empire the american empire kalelus we're talking about a time that your genealogy is not going to connect you to ain't no one on earth going to do no gen no genealogies my naga that's going to connect you to nehemiah theodore roos or sylvanus to texas the the mound builders you know what I'm saying? None of the ancient love song. You're going to say, oh, my uncle's this. This is this. Therefore, I should draw this conclusion. This, Therefore, I can make this assumption. 432 to drive, man. We do it for the original con, the original naga, the so-called black man, the so-called black woman, the so-called African-American that has been disenfranchised and it ain't got shit that's up in the hood. Everyone's taking everything. And the minute we start popping off and connecting back to the promised land, everybody and their mama say, but it's mine too. Look at my genealogies. I can amalgamate myself with you guys, right? You guys don't deserve a land of your own. Then what's this about? These Nagas don't get no land of their own, right? They got to go back to Africa, right? They stay here, but but yeah, I got family here too. So uh, I'm here too. Everybody want to be here. Don't, ain't, it, ain't it getting clear when we say keep the code KTC, thou shall not covet your neighbor's stuff, your brother's things. Doesn't land fit in there to coveting? These Nagas can't have no land of their own. These great these great ones can't have a land of their very own. America can't be their land, right? Because, uh, you know, based on my genealogies, you know, uh, my, my great uncle was from such and such. How far is your genealogy going to connect you, man? When we talk original, we mean it. We mean original. My naggy, I don't care how you want to squeeze yourself into this. We do it for the so-called Negro African American in every project, in every hood, on every street, on every corner, they don't know who they are, who the war has been against for all this damn time to pop off and come home. That is the checkpoint we're reaching. That these so called blacks, when they realize who they are, it's all happening. You and your genealogy is not even secondary to the plan. That's not even a big part of anything. <laughs> Our unity comes from us being unified. When we become unified with each other, everybody then wants to unify with us, right? When we say we do it for the con, right? <laughs> Everyone says, well, I'm the con too. But you didn't call yourself the Negro. You didn't call yourself the Black. And you damn sure didn't call yourself African American. But you've been copying us and studying us. And, and you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, over here trying to surf the wave, right? When I say Naga, everybody there want to be a Naga, right? But when I say Nagoose, I'm talking the King of Kings, man. I'm talking to Davids, man. I got love for my family, you dig? My Shabbatah. And anybody else want to push a positive frequency for my family, my Shabbatah, I got love for you. But I don't got love for anyone speaking our lingo and then trying to tell us we ain't got a land of our very own now. Uh, that's hijack city. You that'll make you no different than these, you know, hijacks today, my nigga. 
you're going to have to get this black man a land of his own. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> we ain't going back to Africa. Because we ain't from Africa. This the old world, my nigga. This the old world, my nigga. And we just popping off. Oh, yeah. We got bodies. I said, I said, bodies. Hey, how about what time, man? Because this is something your genealogy test ain't going to link you to, right? Not to the whole, whole gone. Out the Federal Register, the Daily Journal of the United States Government, National Archive, Notice of Inventory Completion, Arizona State Museum, University of Arizona, Tucson, Arizona, a notice by the National Park Service back in 2014. The summary, let's go, the American or the Arizona State University, University of Arizona, the Arizona State Museum, has completed an, in an inventory of human remains and associated funerary objects. What's that, man? What's that? Are we talking about sacred objects, right? In consultation with the appropriate Indian tribes or native Hawaiian organizations. So all these hijack organizations that want to claim the Naga indigenous title, right? Because again, you could say you, I'm indigenous. These are indigenous people. Those are indigenous people. Why you just want to just give our titles away like that? You know why it's so easy for some people just to give our titles away? Because they're not us. And when they're not us, it's easy to give our titles away, right? When we say Romani, when we say the Roman, <laughs> word of the day, my naga, we talking Roman, right? Con, con, we talking the fruit. The fruit of the boom. What boom? <laughs> the grenade. The grenade. The Riman or Riman. The Hebrew for pomegranate or grenade, right? Boom. Bang. Ping pow. So who's the pomegranate? Right. Seven spies of Israel and one of the first fruits of the 12 spies, the, the 12 spies brought back from their surveillance mission that recon is the Rema has been used long before the event of modern warfare. So we're not just talking grenades, man. We're talking about <laughs> that firepower, that pomegranate naga, that Kalelu's firepower. And as we've been digging on Kalelu's, Yeah, you remember this link, right? This all connects back to the Forbidden Histories of America with Daniel Lowe. As we dig on Kalelu's, it leads you right to the Ame, to the She. And you dig on the She or the She Kamagwa, and you dig on the She, my naga, that She's also going to connect you to that Tangu. The Tangu is right here in America, you know, on the East Coast, right? Or, you know, we're just talking about a kingdom that's also connected with this Kalelus, the what? American Empire of Kalelus. Look at the date, 775, right? Kalelus was ruled by Solomon the Builder, Sylvanus Tall, Texas. And this Nehemiah also falls under the title Toltec. So this is not a war on the Toltec. They're all Toltec. They're all Davids. They're all Judah. You know what I'm saying? These are Davidic warriors going at it. Just like the script talk about David on David's and Israel on Israel. This is recordation of it happening in America. Check the date. Khan. And we're going to get to these bodies <laughs> that's being found along with these artifacts that are connected to the what? American Empire, man. My now, you can't just say you're indigenous to America without having a claim to the American empire. Can't, I mean, you can't live in your matrix, man. There's so many levels to waking up. Some people wake up and they just stop right there at the Indian phase. Hey, here's a bunch of Indians. We're, you know, <laughs> we're Indians like them. You know what I'm saying? No, man, it goes back to the promised land, which goes all the way back to the moves, all the way back to the Atlantis flow. Everything that's going on here, man, the mood, the, 
the Moo on Atlantis, the Dragon on Snake War going down, and definitely connect you to the what? The Mound Builders. The hereditary rulers, man. Hereditary, right? So these Nagas today that look just like these Almecs are the hereditary rulers. So when you say these are indigenous people, you have to say, how do they fit into the actual vision? You know what I'm saying? That Hawa has already put down. You know, Hawa gave these people lots. Hawa gave the Hebrews a lot. You can't say that I now connect to their lot based on my genealogy. You're going to have to say, well, based on my genealogy, I see where I, you know, started, uh, you know, I see where I started uh, tying and threading into the story, but that doesn't make you original to the story. And it's all about originality and being truthful because the truth is a frequency. Right. Genealogy could take you so far, but it's not going to give you the frequency of truth because it can't take you all the way back to the real beginning. And the real beginning is what the original comes from. You can't talk original without talking about a beginning. I can't say that here's my original flow without saying that this is the beginning of something. These Nagas are digging on Kalelus today. That's an original flow. Because you're not going to see a group of Nagas digging on Kalelus and Sylvanus to Texas and connecting that with the Davidic flow to Preston John and connecting that to the Marukan. That's an original flow. We can show a beginning to it. And these original Nagas come from an original place and they have a beginning somewhere. They are hereditary, man. You're going to tell this Naga to go back to Africa? Try it, man. Try it, man. And if you ain't going to tell him to go back to Africa, that means you're going to have to give him his land. And when you give him his land, are you going to say, it's my land too? Or are you going to say, hey, man, you mind if I rock? <laughs> Can I rock out with you, big, big homie? Can I rock out in the American empire, the empire? When the Papal Bull went down and they went to subjugate all of the you know, so-called Saracens, right? All these people of a promise love to, you know, saying, let us find the truth people of a promise and when they did that who were they at war with what did them people look like right the same people that don't know who they are today the same negro in the hood the same you know what i'm saying so-called african-american today that think they from africa right those people have a promised land they have an inheritance it's hereditary you gotta give these nagas they land you can't say they can't have they can't have america well, lucky for us, it's not up to you. You know what I'm saying? It's all about Hawa and the lot, the original lot that was given to his people. It don't mean that other people can't rock. Even with, even with Preston John, other folks was rocking, right? But they had to rock in order. They had to pay tribute, my naga. There's an order to it. You can't just have, oh, here's my sovereign indigenous tribe of America without having an order connected to the Davids. If you are on the land next to the Davids, that means that what? They're allowing you to rock, Manaki. It's not just because you have a claim. You can't claim your way into a heritage, man. That's Hijack City, whether you did it then or whether our people or or, or, or folks is doing it today <laughs> that want to be indigenous so bad that everything they're doing has to prove their way in. My genealogy must prove my way in. Does it prove your way in to the American empire of these Remani? My Naga, I'm talking about, I'm talking about Redma, 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 here we all day. Hey, the Redma, the Pomegranada Nagas, man. See, hijacks love giving our titles out. We could tell you a million times. Nope. Roman is Redma and Redma is Pomegranate. And the hijack is still going to give our Redmond title to the to the uh, hijack. They're going to say, yeah, 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 I get that. But those are the Remani. And we say, no, we're the Remani. And they say, nope, the hijack is the Remani. You could tell them a million times and they love giving our titles away because it's not them. They're not giving themselves up. 
they're giving up something outside of them and they know it. So it's easy for them to give our titles up. We could say we are the indigenous, you know what I'm saying? We are the originals. They'll say, well, based on my genealogy, America has all kinds of looking people here. So you can't just say it only look one way, yada, yada, yada. Since when, when are you gonna pick up the story? Cause I'm picking up from the originals in my log. If we don't do it for these original cons, what are you doing it for? You just doing it to prove yourself? You just doing it to prove that you got some type of heritage in America? Cause you don't want to go home. <laughs> Cause you don't want to admit that you have no home. Like which one is it? Either you don't want to go home or you don't want to admit that you have no home, but you're going to have to come up out of this American empire. You know why? Because it belongs to somebody, not just a bunch of pictures you think are Indians. It belongs to the Amaru Khans. And if your genealogy ain't connecting you dead smack with the mound builders and the Amaru Khans, then what are you doing it for? We are here to free our people, our people not just a bunch of people that think they're us. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about our people. You would never claim to be black. You never claim to be African-American. Why are you claiming to be the Naga? Why are you claiming to be the Khan? Why are you claiming to be the Amaru Khan? These Amaru Khans can't have no land. They can't have no land, right? <laughs> Chinese got China, Japanese got Japan, Africans got Africa. These Nagas in America can't have America without you saying, but what about me too? Or how do you know your genealogy is from this? How do you know this is from that? You trying to make these Nagas prove that they are who they are while you prove that you can blend in and amalgamate and syncretize your way into the promised land. My Naga, what does it mean to keep the code? To keep the code means that you ain't got that covetous heart. If you got a covetous heart, you still coveting. I think the covetous connects to the land. I think land is a big piece when it comes to coveting. Because they've been covetous by wanting to destroy you to get your land, man. More and more war is all about covetous. And even in our community today, we got a covetous hearts that say, man, forget trying to prove these Nagas and, and bring them back to their existence. I want to prove myself to be better than them. I want to prove myself to be a part of them. And that becomes a selfish ambition. That becomes something driven by ego or the need to survive, the parasite needs to survive. You can't give these Nagas they land. You can't give black people no land. You can't give black people America, right? I mean, that's how the hijack thinks. I don't care how smart they think they are. They can't give these so-called blacks no country of their very own. I guess it's back to Africa then, right? That's hijack city, man. You need to wake up and come up out of here, man. Because these Romani, <laughs> it's it's being proven now, man. It's nowhere to go. We got y'all hijacks. We got y'all cornered in that poo sandwich, man. <laughs> y'all cornered, man. Y'all y'all surrounded by Memzals now, baby. Oh yeah. Romans allegedly into side, man. Aqua tie, man. She done dropped these body bags, man. We just surfing the wave with my aqua. Artifacts were found nearly 80 years that suggest an ancient Roman settlement in Tucson. Who's the Roma? Red mine. All right. The first artifacts were found September 1924 by Charles Manier and Thomas Bent, sticking from a wash bed eight miles north of Tucson. These artifacts included lead alloy crosses, swords, my noggin. You know, all those Indians on those pictures that people put up, you know, all these hijack images and there's just a bunch of Indians with bows and arrows and looking like they have traditional Indian garb as if that was just our thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not, we mound builders. The mound builders weren't just walking around looking like your so-called Indian of the proxy today. You dig? Not your Indian pictures from the 1800s, 1900. <laughs> we going back to 800 to 700 Anaga, and before that. These Almecs weren't walking around looking like Tonto. You did. They had swords. You think those Indians and them pictures, them Indian pictures that you see all over the place, you think they can hold your sword, man? You know who can hold that sword? Right. These are the hands, my naga, that hold that sword. You know what I'm saying? And those hands 
are the same hands as my noggins in the hood today. And we know, again, all skin folk ain't careful. This ain't just about black power, right? We ain't talking that. We talking tribal. We talking melanated, swarthy noggins. And either way, we coming home to the, you know, actual ancient love song of what really went down. And, you know, it gets real gut-wrenching to see our titles being passed on and on and you know we can't even claim to be indigenous without everyone saying well i'm indigenous too my genealogy says so i'm so great at genealogy i can connect everything man if you don't get out of our way man if you want to have the drop have the drop you want to be in the back of the class be in the back of the class if you want to twist what we do then get out of our way because that's serpent technique that's a serpent technique that's hijack city you're going to have to give these Negroes back their land. You got to give these so-called African-Americans back their land of America, the Marukan Empire, the Red Mine. I'm talking the Red Mine, not the Roman, the Red Mine. And I could tell you a million times, but the hijack's still going to call. The hijack's still going to call the fake, you know, the fake, you know what I mean? absolutely uh synthetic motherfuckers you know what i'm saying they're gonna call them romani no matter what we can say romani is pomegranate they're gonna say yeah 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 but the fake synthetics they're the romans they're the Riman. we say no the Riman means pomegranate they say yeah 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 but no they're the Riman. they're the Roman. <laughs> it's like they love doing i don't know you know what i'm saying maybe it's a glitch maybe we got a glitch in the matrix but these red mine are these Negroes, okay? And that's not Afrocentric. <laughs> Africa ain't got nothing to do with this. These red mine are the Negroes in Amaru Khan. That's not Afrocentric. Africa ain't got nothing to do with this. This is a cold, hard fact. You dig up everywhere around here. The older you get, you're going to see us. No matter what tribe. We're talking the ancient love song, the ancients. That's not Afrocentric. It's a fact. Now, you want to dig on it? <laughs> well, you got to dig on these bodies, man. Aqua is dropping bodies around here. And again, they have swords coming out, right? The ground. Other items included or inscriptions with phrases and dates, phrases, right? That's where the Hebrew comes in at. But you want to be indigenous. Oh, these are a bunch of indigenous people. How do they connect to the Hebrews? Uh, here's a picture of 14 Indians from the such and such uh, Chuka Chuka tribe. How do they connect to the Davids and the Exilarchs? Uh, Right. That's that's too real of a question. How do they connect to Kalelus and the mound builders? That's too real of a question. But their genealogy says so. It's proven that they're Americans. No, I think it's proven that you want them to be Americans, that you want them to have these Naga titles because you don't want these Nagas, these Negroes. You don't want them to have no land of their very own. Not because you hate us. You love us. You want to be just like us. You want to copy everything we do, our style, our walk, our talk. You copy us. We don't copy you. You copy us. You study us. You watch us. You study us. You copy us. Everything that's cool, you take from us. But you don't want to give it up to us. <laughs> you don't want to give us us, but you want to take from us. You want to take us without giving us us. And when we have an issue with it, you say, uh, well, you better prove it. Where's your genealogy test? <laughs> Is your genealogy test going to connect you to David or Preston John? Then you ain't connected to reality. Facts. These swords and these phrases with this Hebrew are connected, my Navi, to the 760s. Are you going to say all these different phenotypes? They're all Davids. All of them are, are, are Judah. Are you going to blaspheme on Judah like that? Well, then you're going to have to let Judah play his position, and that's order. And according to Hawa, the scepter will never depart from Judah. So don't say Hawa, Hawa now, speaking Hebrew, and you don't want to connect 
to the Hebrew cons where the scepter will never depart from. I mean, the swords, my naga. Do those Indian pictures connect to these swords and this scepter that never departs from Judah, knowing that this is Judea, Judea, Utah? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so, right? They're just a bunch of Indian pictures. Images, images, images with no connection to the con. Everybody want to be the con when it's time for the con to be the con. But then nobody want to be black when these niggas were still black. They don't want to get shot down in the street with no value for their lives, but they want to claim all the prize. Well, we realize with clear eyes, 360 degree surprise, my naga. <laughs> 760 to 900, man. So remember these dates, right? The number of objects found eventually totaled 32. So they found 32 artifacts and objects. That's just one dig, you know, or collection of digs, you know, from one type of sweep, man. We're going to be, <laughs> watch this, man. Watch this, man. Aqua Thai did it again. Some of the Latin inscriptions on these artifacts were translated as telling of a tale. So they didn't even mention the Hebrew in this little paragraph we have to get that they're you know finding hebrew artifacts in the books like the book by cyclone covey we we read that every tuesday nine o'clock ten o'clock we're all in the classroom at 432 to drop radio just go to 432 to drop.com download the app and get in the classroom take the surf the wave challenge at least five nights a week listen for about five minutes and tell us how you really feel tell us how you really now, they're telling of a tale of an 8th century battle between a settlement of Roman Jews. Red mine, red mine, red mine, here we all day, right? These pomegranate nagas. Yeah, on that surveillance recon, right? Joshua, 12 spies, Caleb and them are the red mine. Got it? So if Joshua is the Ramon, Managa, then how can the hijack be the Ramani? I'll wait. But the hijack loves giving out our high, giving our titles to the hijack. The hijack loves giving our titles to the hijack. Our indigenous title goes to the hijack. The Ramon title, Ramani title goes to the hijack. It's just the hijack in you. What can I say? It's just the hijack in you. Because you ain't doing it for us. You're doing it to prove that you're one of us. <laughs> and that's covetous. The Red Mani and the Native Americans, right? So this battle that none of these hijacked Indian pitchers go to <laughs> is connected. The Red Mani with the Native Americans, right? described as to Texas. So this is a Hebrew war. Predecessors of the Aztec. There was a controversy of whether or not the objects were really ancient. The items were displayed in the, in the uh, Arizona State Museum in 1929. Researchers now consider these items forgeries, of course, right? Because the Jews can't claim it because they haven't converted yet to Judaism. So they got to say fake. They can't fund the slave trade and then act like they're the Toltecs <laughs> and the whole whole con that got invaded, you know, by these uh, hijacks. They can't be on both sides, right? So they got to say, uh, now we, we can't do that. They must be forgeries, right? These artifacts disappeared. These forgeries disappeared, right? But later were found to be in the possession of Thomas Bent. So he had, he had a few. He was excavating. The artifacts were then donated to the um, to the Arizona Historical Society, these artifacts are not on display, not on display, not on display at the Arizona History Society. They were donated there, but they are not on display, my naga. Oh no, they are not on display. <laughs> so why are they not on display? Man, I'm in daddy daycare, man. You know what I'm saying? Popping off with you. You know, I just wanted you to, you know, get this drop, catch this wave that Aqua Tai got us on. 
So the Arizona State Museum, University of Arizona, has completed an inventory of human remains associated with these sacred funerary objects in consultation with the appropriate Indian tribes, all right? They say that you can claim these remains if you submit a written request. Then what they gonna put you through, man? Then what, right? Let's go. So let's do this, man. I mean, you know, <laughs> You can scroll through here. You got the drop 1999. They got human remains. They say one individual was removed from an unknown location in Arizona. Pima County, the collection was deposited with the Arizona State Museum in 1999 by an unknown individual. No known individuals were identified. The six associated funerary objects are one mantle fragment and five ceramic shirts. The condition of the human remains is consistent with the prehistoric human burial and the nature of the associated objects suggest that the burial may be dated sometime between 200 and 1500, my naga. I mean, that's a broad range, right? Is your genealogy going to connect you to this 200 AD? And knowing that it's not going to connect you to the absolute truth, it's going to drop you somewhere, which is good. I mean, know what you need to know. I'm not against genealogy. I'm just against people leaning on it to a point where they think it's proven something. You know what I'm saying? And definitely leaning on it to a point where they think that they can now claim our indigenous titles or our original title in our original land. Because we do it for the original Negro, my naga. That is the Hebrew Hebo, the Hebo Hebrew, the Ebo Ru. You know what I mean? The the Hever, the Kiver, the Kavera, my naga. You know what I'm saying? We do it for the land of Preston John, man. If you don't see clearly by now, you just want to be an Indian or have some Indian heritage, then you're living in a matrix. What you can do is say, you know, we were here rocking for a while, but we're here now to reestablish the originals. And when you come and you come in that frequency, then we can rock with you. If you come trying to bite our style and surf our wave and say, hawa, hawa, da, 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 da. But I'm an indigenous person. Look at my genealogy. Man, if you don't get out of our way. Because your genealogy ain't going to connect you to 200 AD. It ain't going to connect you to these human remains, my naga. <laughs> you could try to claim it, but, you know, hey, it's not going to connect you to Sylvanus told Texas, man. So what you doing it for? Just to uh, get some information on other people? Like what? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the human remains and a... Uh, ceramic vessel were brought to the Arizona State Museum. So you got an individual in 1999, this whole thing, 200 to 1500. Then 1938, you got another noggin. These are our ancestors, man. So not only are they digging out these swords, they're digging our ancestors up throughout this whole time. Connecting them weird to the whole to the whole whole gone 1969 human remains representing one individual were removed from an unrecorded site so wherever right the excavation was conducted by the property owner who donated the human remains to the american or excuse me the arizona state museum in 1970 this is all happening the accession number was assigned no known individuals were identified of course they don't know who we are right of course man Again, look at the date, 300 to 500 now, right? Come on, man. Who's connected to this? This is the American Empire of Kalelus. Your genealogy is not going to connect you to the American Empire, so you're not going to understand why the Pope is issuing the dumb diverses to, to subjugate these Saracens and put them under perpetual servitude. He didn't do that for the proxy Indian in these Indian pictures today. And these, oh, these are indigenous this, these are indigenous that, these are indigenous that. None of them are the reason why the Pope did the doom diverses. They got in where they fit in. They're not the Saracen that this was done to. They're not the people of a promise in the promised land of Kalelus that this was done to. They're not Sylvanus Ogam and Bravos, Managa. They're not the Swan Knights. They're definitely not the Barbara Hakazin 
and they're damn sure not the all man. I haven't seen one genealogy test say, yep, you're all man. <laughs> you're certified tote tech. Not hijacked tote tech, certified tote tech. Hey, I, I ain't here to say feelings, man. This is the fourth quarter. I ain't got time for the play play. We do it for the indigenous Nagas, man. We do it. The reason why we do this is to wake up the so-called black man, black woman in the hood today and let them know that they got heritage for real, for real, connected to the Knights, my Naga, connected to the Hebrew cons, to ancient love songs and ancient technology. And everybody that wants to surf that wave, cool. If that offends you, get out of our classroom, man, because you ain't in it for truth. You want to prove yourself. You want to find something for yourselves. We're doing it for the home team. Wow. Bodies on bodies, man. Let's get a few more. 1960, 76 human remains representing 72 Nagas. 72. 72 individuals were removed from the Hardy site in Arizona, Pima County. Legally authorized. Yeah, right. Excavations were conducted by University of Arizona and the Arizona State Museum. Under the direction of Linda Gregonis and Carl Reinhardt as part of a field school. They're just having a field day digging on the real ones. At the end of the excavations, the archeo archeological con collections were brought to the American or the Arizona State Museum and assigned in the session number. No known individuals were identified. The six associated funerary objects are one bowl, all one bolt, one bone tool, one ceramic disc, one ceramic figurine, one ceramic jar. I mean, come on. You think they're really going to tell you what they really found, man? Are they going to just list a few things? They're going to say, nah, don't, don't put that on there. <laughs> they ain't telling us everything, man. But we do see that they found 72 Nagas. You did. This one here, 1931, they found 44 Nagas. Let's keep going. And look at this period that they're dating them to. Ho Ho Calm, classic period, 1100 to 1450, my Naga. If we weren't digging on our Naga history, we wouldn't even be able to connect this to what? Presta John, Presta John let, letter 1165. Genghis Khan goes to war 1202 against Presta John. Then what? More and more war, all up into what? The Doom Divers is in 1452. This is 1450. This is why the Doom Divers was put on us for the whole gang, for the Almec, for the Tote, for the mound builders. They're not connecting you to this. You in the Matrix. I'm indigenous. You ain't connected to the American Empire, man. Let's go, man. I'm a daddy daycare, man. I'm popping off, man. <laughs> 1991, they found another Naga, man. And look how many artifacts. One, 194 artifacts, 194 artifacts, my Naga, and they're connecting this to 201,000, man. 1930s, they found 33 Nagas, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, man, just look at these dates, though. You know, just look at the dates. Look at the dates and then check out how... Just check out how many artifacts, you know what I'm saying? Now, at the Kalelu site, they were talking about, what, 32 artifacts, 31 artifacts. In this particular site alone, this is one individual was removed from the Brown site. So at the Brown site, <coughs> there's a, oh, 194 artifacts, man. Let's keep going. All right, 1930s and the year is 1988 to 89. Human remains representing a minimum of 33 more Nagas at the Honeybee Village site, man. So this whole Kalelu's flow so far, we've been really focusing on one main site that's been excavated over a period of time that the Arizona State Museum took over, that they were getting help from Wake Forest University, Yale University, all these museum curators. Everybody's involved in this cover of Smithsonian New York Times is writing articles on this in the 20s and 30s. And now you see why, but they're not saying human remains. 
they just keep saying lead crosses, right? They're telling you there's something that they're finding, but that's not it. We we don't know if it's only these swords and crosses. We don't know what else other artifacts, right? They're saying, oh, some more pots. Now, people keep saying to us, where's the artifacts of your civilization? Where do you think the artifacts are of our civilizations is? <laughs> Managa over here, they're finding what? Honeybee village consists of a large habitation village. What is a large habitation village to you? <laughs> uh, you get it, you get it. <laughs> habitation, so. And then it has 319. Eh, 319 funerary objects so sacred objects man so the other one had 194 this one where they're finding 33 nagas right has 319 33 individuals 319 objects oh soil samples ceramic shirts <laughs> they're gonna call it whatever we just gotta now take their word for it right now we gotta take their word for it they even got a ball court man a naga they even got a hoop court and you want to know who these nagas are they hooping man now these nagas can't have their own land right they can't say they're from america and that this is their land Without some hijack, going to pull out some paperwork next to them and say, but I took a genealogy test and uh, I don't know, man. I think I belong here too. Hey, man, we was nice to a lot of people. We let a lot of people rock. The same good-hearted Nagas today is the same good-hearted Nagas back then. We let you have land. We let tribes rock. Preston John let all these tribes. Gog, man, Gog, man, they had. Giants were still here, man. <laughs> people were still rocking here. Now, the, the descendants of those people that were just allowed to rock, they would now pull out genealogy tests saying that they have genes going back to Americas and that they are the indigenous too. Just because they were allowed to rock, their ancestors wouldn't try to try that paperwork shit. Their ancestors will be asking the Preston if it's okay to rock out in the American empire. Managa. The American Empire of Kalelus. They'll be asking if it's okay to, if there's an empire, that means that there's an emperor, right? There's a there's a Khan, there's a Ha Khan, there's a high priest over the land, right? You don't just have indigenous rights without having a pass, man. And who would they be getting the pass from? Check the dates, man. King Solomon. King David, Preston John, the swords, right? Those hijacked pictures that they're pulling out, they're not holding these swords, man. You don't see them sword fighting my nage. You don't see them with the swords, man. You see the real nagas that they're pulling out the ground bone, man. The bodies, huh? The bodies. Who's holding the sword, man? You can't you can't wield the sword of this man right here with your hijack Indian indigenous genealogies, man. You had to get permission from the Naga to be here. You just don't have land for no reason. The creator gotta give you that through the lineage of the Ibaru. Moshe, the Prestors, Joshua, the Prestors. This is where you're getting your path from. You trying to, you trying to get the rights? <coughs> Why? Too much yelling. 
But now you see these swords right here? See these swords right here? Who's holding these swords? They had to get permission, my noggin. Your genealogy is just going to take you to somebody who had to get permission. It's not going to prove that you hold the indigenous Naga heritage. You got to give these Nagas their land back. You're going to have to give my Naga his land back and stop saying it's yours too. That's Hijack City. You may, you may not like it. See, the Nagas make people uncomfortable. Negroes make people uncomfortable because they got to come up off everything they're cozy with and familiar with. Everything in Mexico. Everything in all these islands in between. You got to come up out of all that. That's how special these Nagas are. But you don't want to give it up now. You want to give it up, but you don't really want to give it up. Because then it puts you way down, right, in, in your mind. But you don't know that if you do it for the Naga, by default, that brings you all the way back up. You just got to rock out in order. You can't pretend to be the Preston. You can't pretend to be the son of the Preston. This land is for the daughters and the sons of the Prestors. You want to be clear about America? America is for the descendants of the Prestors. The priest queens and the priest kings. The descendants of Khalifa, Sheba, Miriam, Managa. I'm talking real Preston cons around here. Now, you want your Malibu, you want your Beverly Hills with permission of the Preston. But if you're not rocking for the tribe, I doubt if that's going to happen. Because Solomon the Builder was a hereditary ruler of this Hebrew Remani empire. Kalelus was founded in the first century BC by the Babylonian exilarch that means the hebrew in babylonian captivity who is leading the hebrews sylvanus ogam sylvanus bravo solomon ii babylonian exilarch nasi of mara ruler of sumer sumer managi this history is even older than all this sumeria this they created antiquity to hide this man you know what i mean They created antiquity to hide this. The origin of the Tao and these swords and the power, the power that's within these swords, man, this electricity, this stuff looks like technology. <laughs> This ain't just some fancy stuff, man. You know this stuff has frequency to it, right? The frequency has to connect somebody, right? And those Indian pictures today, right? And this proxy Indian of all these tribes, this is the indigenous this. This is the indigenous that. They don't wield these swords. They don't hold these swords. They can't touch this frequency. They can't touch it, but they trying to touch us. They want to touch us, but won't let us touch our own stuff, right? We can't have the land of America, huh? We we can't have it, according to you hijacks. Everyone ties into America. <clears throat> because it's the old world, Managa, yes, you have a lot of passing throughs. You have a lot of people that are allowed to rock out on these lands. You got a lot of war for these lands. But that doesn't give them the indigenous title. You even have dog-headed tribes, Managa. Tribes with heads of dogs. We read about it. Do those dog-headed tribes have a right to claim to be indigenous? Can they take a picture and say, hey, here's a picture of our dog-headed tribe from the 1700s. They are the indigenous
In my naga, if the dog-headed tribes ain't indigenous, then neither are many of these proxy uh, in so-called Indian looking, you know, classic Indian look type of people. If the dog head, the dog headed tribes are older than most of these, you know, hijack Indian, hi hijack, you know, indigenous people. The dog headed tribes got more claim than them, but they're not originals here. They were either created here, spliced and diced in here. They popped up here, however they got here, but they can't claim this Naga title and they can't claim the Naga swords, man. Or the Rimani. They can't hold these swords. They have to tie battle, man. They even had ball courts, man. We got bodies all over the place. 52 bodies right here, man. In the whip, whip tail ruin, man. So you got the drought digger on it. Bodies on bodies in Kalelus, man. <laughs> And this is the lamp in the desert, the story of the University of Arizona. Pull up this drop. The anthropologists can trace men back to the 10,000 BC in Arizona. <laughs> Believing he was here thousands of years before that period. This Herbert Howe Bet Betcroft, a great Western historian, says the first white man to enter Arizona was... Ray Marcos de Niza, a, Fris a Franciscan who appeared in 1539. Uh, we're talking Estebanico. He led this strong military force, Spanish military force, right, in the Valley of Santa Cruz in search of the seven cities of go oh, 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 oh. Hey, man, y'all stay up, choose up, and suit up, man. Yeah, man.